Hey guys, this is Drew Takusha Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. In this video, we're gonna be doing a coin shop review over Ohio Estates. Uh, this is the most we've ever spent in a coin shop. We hope you enjoy this episode. So we ended up leaving Virginia to go to Ohio for some family things, and we really wanted to go to a great coin shop. And so we saw a few posts online from Ohio Estates. They posted on Instagram some nice coins, and we reached out. And so they're actually out of Parma, Ohio, and we ended up driving up there and coming in, and it was there were so many people in there. It was actually like a really cool old-timey coin shop feel where People were kind of huddled up, looking at stuff, interested in cards, interested in bullion, interested in coins. Um, There's people coming in there to sell stuff. It was a really rich atmosphere that you don't really find with most coin shops today. I would say most coin shops that you do run into, there's just people there to assess what you have, take it and sell it online or sell it to other dealers. And there's not really much else for them to do. And so it kind of creates a atmosphere that people don't want to come back to. But Ohio Estates, I mean, it was really awesome. Their, their team was great. Their customer service was awesome. Uh, Matt was really nice when he priced out these coins. Um, and like I said, we spent uh, a lot of money. The most we've ever spent in a coin shop, 11000 what was it, $355, Casey? Around there. But I'll, I'll put the right number right here. But uh, here's a few of the coins that we bought at the coin shop. Um, this is only about half of what we bought. So... Uh, everything's been flying out. They have really nice, you know, premium quality coins. And a lot of our customers ended up picking up some of them. And we still have a few to look through. So if you guys are interested, AkushaCollectibles.com, small plug. Um, but there's also a really nice lady that runs their Instagram. And she was very polite and, and inviting us and wanting us to spend time in their shop. Um, you know, we, we want to create coin shop reviews about shops that we really do love and then you guys saw one last week that we didn't really have a good time at and so um, if you guys are ever in the Ohio area I would definitely go to Parma or Ohio Estates to check out what they have just a really nice wide assortment of things um, so as you guys can guess we would go back to this coin shop we're probably going to go back to this coin shop within a month um, and also you know if we were to rate it out of 10 I would say it's 9 out of 10 I mean if you're looking for, like I said, anything between collector cards, um, if you're looking for bullion, if you're looking for collector coins, even raw coins, uh, they just said everything that you really would need and they constantly get a good supply in. So we talked a little bit about, in previous videos, about blood flow. And blood flow, flow basically means um, you either, you have a lot of inventory and you go through it quickly and it kind of keeps everything fresh. It kind of keeps everything circulating, right? So sometimes you run into a coin shop where uh, the price of coins are so cheap that everybody buys them all and you never really get a shot at them. Or there's a coin shop where they have everything overpriced and you can't buy anything. So there's no blood flow in the business, right? And so I think we bought about maybe 20% of the collector coins in the shop. So they have a lot of coins that they're able to sell to people. They have blood flow and they told us, hey, come back next week or in two weeks. When we have more, we always have more. Uh, we're working with everybody around us and we like to buy from them. And so, uh, just a really great shop. I wanna show you guys though a few coins real quick and get your thoughts on them. So one of my favorite pickups of the whole entire you know, ordeal that we had and, and deal that we had at their shop was this uh, beautifully toned Morgan Dollar. I'm gonna show a video of it on screen. I mean, the array of color on this 1881S Morgan was tremendous. I also feel the coin was undergraded. Um, it was great MS64 star by NGC and it, for today's standards I would guess it would be anywhere between MS65 to maybe MS66 and so you know it's just a really beautiful collector piece for someone that likes Tony. Uh, we ended up selling that one so we couldn't show you in person sadly but we're trying to get more stuff in like that when we can. But let's show you guys a few coins here. Um, here is a nice 1936D Washington Quarter. And most people are like, oh, it's just a normal quarter, right? Well, sometimes when you, you know, when you run into shops or run into people, they tell you what they need. And so there's this guy at the TNA show. He's like, hey, do you know anybody that has a 1936D Washington quarter? And I'm like, man, dude, there's got to be a million people that have a 1936D Washington quarter. And it turns out, no, you know, this this uh, date's a little bit tougher. 
and it can get pretty expensive, especially in mint grade. Um, this one's, you know, probably value about 380 bucks, but a uh, really nice coin. There's not too many, there's no spots on the coin. It's really nice and PQ, and I couldn't pass this one up at Ohio State's. Um, here is a nice 1871 uh, proof two cent piece. I'm going to show a video additionally to, to me, you know, showing you guys a coin just so you can get a better look at it. But really nice red um, color on this coin. It's a proof. It's also an OGH holder, so there's a lot of bells and whistles to this coin. And uh, yeah, I mean, I think that the holder is something that you should look out for, especially when you can get a premium for it. And it has some nice color to it as well. Definitely couldn't pass that one up. We bought a whole slew of nickels at the shop. I guess the nickels were just the extra from what people didn't want previously that came in, but uh, I couldn't pass them up. I think they were pretty nice. Here's a 1913D Type 2 Buffalo Nickel, grade AU58, and it also is CAC approved. You know, it's got some subtle color on the coin. It has a little wear, which is unfortunate, but it is a better date. And so, you know, when you're buying inventory for yourself, sometimes you have to ask yourself when you have a certain budget, should I be buying the one that everybody has or should I be buying the one that everybody doesn't have and pay a little bit more? And so we ended up paying a little bit more for this coin and uh, just hoping we find a great collector for it. Here's a coin that I don't see every day. I see a whole lot of these that are basically almost coals or uh, grades that are so low that nobody wants to actually buy them. I mean, just very common, but this one is a little bit better grade. This is a 1908S. It's a semi-key date Indian head scent, grade AU58 by PCGS. Just really nice surfaces on both sides of the coin, a little bit of color here and there. And like I said, you know, when you're trying to buy the coin in a lower grade, people are asking 125, 135, 150 bucks. But an AU58, you know, if you can run into one, lucky enough to run into one, I mean, they're only selling for a little bit under $300. So sometimes just looking for the grade that you want and then paying a little bit up for it ends up, you know, giving you a good return in the long run. I think it's just a really wholesome grade. And uh, Mint State gets a little bit more pricey, so I didn't, you know, if we did run into a Mint State one, I, of course I would buy it, but definitely getting one in AU58 is worth it for someone that's wanting to collect every single day. Um, here is an 1888 uh, Liberty V-Nickel. Sorry if there's plastic on these, like once again, I'll show you a video, but it's a, a little bit of a better date V-Nickel. It is CC approved. There's no distracting spots on the coin. You know, it's kind of the yada yada, same old, same old, but definitely does have all the bells and whistles to it. And so definitely do like this coin. I like how the date's presented on the bottom of the obverse. And uh, not a lot of these come up for auction, surprisingly. I guess there are a lot of them sold privately and that kind of uh, keeps us out of, out of seeing a lot of them. Here's a 1912 Liberty V nickel. This one has a little bit of toning to it. It's kind of like reddish blue and uh, it has a little bit of that distinctive character, even if it's a common date to where someone would say, you know, I don't really care for the date, but I really do like the character of the coin. And, uh, you know, I thought it was a nice, beautiful piece. And, you know, once again, Ohio State's bringing in the heat, bringing in the good stuff. Um, but here's another one of my favorite purchases of the whole entire deal that we had. This is a 1937 Proof 64 Buffalo Nickel. It's graded, uh, you know, it, it's graded by PCGS. It has a few kind of distracting spots on it, but if you hold it in hand, you can really see the cameo almost look and appeal to it. And that's what made me fall in love with the coin. And that's what normally would make somebody else fall in love with it that's a proof collector. And so just a really great slew of coins here. Um, also did pick up a few type coins, but we didn't end up selling them. This is an 1861 seated half dollar grade AU58. Really nice luster on the coin. Did have some gentle wear, which is you know what happens, but I mean, buying type stuff like that, running into it like that, is just not going to happen. And so I'm um, very fortunate to buy that coin. Here is a 1928D, uh, Standing Liberty Quarter. It's a little bit dark for me, but it is CAC approved. It's just a, a middle of the road um, for someone that wants to collect kind of more of a common date. It's not too expensive in Min State 64, and so that's why I kind of want to buy it. Um, and if you guys watched our previous episode talking about what coin that Matt LaPosa works with, he normally buys coins that are under $500 because that's where a lot of the money is spent within the market. And so a lot of these coins that we talked about today are under $500 or uh, under $200. And so that allows us to reach more people, create a bigger client list and end up servicing more people. And so 
I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. I want to thank Ohio Estates for being the great people that they are. I wish them all the business that they can get. Um, it's just a really great shop and I wish I lived closer. I'd be in there every week talking with them and I really love business and they love business and so I hope they can get your business one of these days. But I will see you guys in the next video.